Lutheran and Abilene ISD after school programs. You could be seeing some changes in the near future. KRBC's Jessica Rank tells us why a new Senate bill could change the school district's provider altogether. This all new in your top story tonight. It's something more than 500 parents in Abilene do. Hey, Sending their kids to after school programs. Hey. And for parents like Cynthia Alvidrez, things could be changing. If a school district does offer after school care in its facilities, uh, that they have to put those out for bid every three years. Superintendent Dr. David Young explaining the passage of a Senate bill, which could change who the current program provider is. And for parent choices, it makes it a lot more competitive than what, it's, what it has been, considering that Alliance has, has pretty much been the only option. And as AISD gets ready to send out their bid, there's a few things they're looking for. Certainly cost is a, a component. We understand that every, every family does uh, everything it can to make ends meet every month. And, and so uh, while the district uh, is not implementing this program, we want it to be affordable to our families. That along with educational services and facility use, all things AISD will have to consider. But for parents like Cynthia, price is the number one component. My hope is that there's an organization that's going to be able to step up and provide uh, AISD families with what they need, which is affordable after school care. In Abilene, Just Current KRBC, Abilene's local news. Jessica, thank you. Alliance has released a statement saying they will be putting in a bid to AISD. No word on if any other companies will. AISD says they hope to choose one by February, eventually letting them take over in time for next school year.